Good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Undergraduate Scholars and Major Awards recognition event. My name is Bill Monroe. I'm Dean of the Honors College, and I'm very happy to be a part of the terrific program we have for you. Tonight, you'll be hearing from the Senior Academic Officer of the University of Houston, Paula Myrick Short, as well as Dr. Ben Rader, the Director of our Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards, and from several of our outstanding students who will be telling us what their experiences applying for national fellowships meant to them. Then we'll conclude the program by introducing 14 outstanding first-year students from our fall 2020 class of over 700. But right now it is my pleasure to introduce the person who has been key for the many successes that are being recognized tonight. As Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Paula Myrick Short has provided a guiding vision as well as extensive support for student achievement at the very highest level. She initiated the Provost Service Learning Scholarships to help jumpstart the Bonner Leader Program, the Office of Global Engagement and Special Programs, Passports for Cougs, and the Global Citizens Credential to emphasize study, service, and learning abroad, and the Houston Scholars Program and the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards, which is responsible for the program and recognitions this evening. As part of the Houston Scholars Program, she supports HERE, the Houston Early Research Experience, one of the foundational programs for undergraduate research and major awards, and she placed the Fulbright Scholarships in the Honors College, where the program has grown and prospered with the active participation of faculty from across the university. As the champion of the university's Phi Beta Kappa chapter, the country's oldest and most prestigious honor society, she supports our efforts to recruit the best and brightest to the University of Houston. And her vision of a culture of excellence, aspiration, and achievement is evident across campus. In the last two years, UH has celebrated only its second ever Truman Scholar, its second ever Udall Scholar, and its first ever Gates Cambridge Scholar and for the first time in its history was named a top producing Fulbright institution. Provost Short's initiatives have extended high quality experiential learning opportunities to the entire campus and encouraged student engagement with our neighborhood, our city, and beyond through service learning, learning away and abroad, and undergraduate research all of which lead to competitive candidates for scholarships and major awards. Provost Short, welcome to the 2021 celebration of undergraduate scholars and major awards. Good evening and thank you, Dean Monroe. I'm pleased to join you tonight for this special occasion to celebrate the achievements of our students. And this year has created unprecedented situations we've had to overcome, including disruptions to our usual routines. But tonight we're coming together to honor those who've demonstrated exceptional scholarship at the University of Houston. And each of you who has earned a fellowship or an award is not only bringing distinction to yourself, you're shining a bright light on our university. These national and international honors raise the profile of our institution. And as provost, I thank you for your accomplishments. You are truly making us so proud. And I want to recognize the faculty and staff of the Honors College who have supported our honorees. I know students appreciate and are grateful to have the positive influence and support of their mentors and the faculty and staff of the Honors College. One of the things they have taught you is that is it that is important to apply for fellowships and awards early in your academic career, as the actual application and interview processes help you focus and gain experience you might not have otherwise. These applications provide learning opportunities 
that help refine your career goals and also help you to realize your goals as you make intentional decisions about your academic planning. And they help you to develop as a student and in your discipline. All of the elements of your future, internships, careers, graduate school, and professional networks can be found in the application process a fellowship or an award requires. Essentially, they make you a better candidate for your future self. All of you are in an ideal place at the Honors College and the University of Houston to achieve the highest goals. We have experienced tremendous success in the past several years, and I could not be prouder. For instance, this year, Philip Keeble was named a Gates Cambridge Scholar, the first in UH history. And we have eight students who've received the Critical Language Scholarship, which is the most that UH has ever had and will likely place us in the top 10 of critical language scholarship producers for this year. And for the first time in the history of the university, UH was named a top producing Fulbright institution. Last year, we had eight Fulbright recipients, which is the second highest total in one year. In the last three years, UH has produced 26 recipients. And this year, the University of Houston led all other Texas schools in Fulbright applications for 2020. And we are proud we are building a Fulbright scholar culture at UH. So to the students tonight who are honored with fellowships and awards, I celebrate you. I look forward to your continued success. It has been my pleasure to be with you tonight, and I wish you a great evening. Thank you, Provost Short, for your comments. About five months ago, I stood here and talked about the resilience of our students, faculty, and staff as we met the challenges of the pandemic together in the fall and how I believe that we would have more accomplishments to discuss in the spring. Like any fellowships year, there were some major question marks but these seem to loom just a little bit larger than in previous years. Although there are still pending notifications for major awards like Boren, Fulbright, Goldwater, and PKP, the news that we have already received this spring surpasses the expectations that we set out for ourselves in the fall. Nine students were named Critical Language Scholarship recipients, which nearly doubles our previous record. A combined 13 students were awarded scholarships for DAD RISE, and DAD RISE Pro to conduct research in Germany. We matched our highest number of NSF GRFP recipients with five new awardees. Our total number of Fulbright applicants reached 46 and 25 students were named semi-finalists, both all-time highs. The magnitude of these accomplishments is even greater when reminded that all of this occurred during a year that was far from normal. Sticking with the theme of normal, I think one of the expressions that we would all be grateful to never hear again is the term new normal. However, I'm going to put my own positive spin on this term in the context of national fellowships and major awards. The new normal for UH students is that they are becoming increasingly competitive for some of the most prestigious national and international fellowships. In the last 12 months, UH recorded its first Truman Scholar since 1984 and its first Marshall Scholarship finalist in the last handful of years. More recently, Philip Keevil was named a recipient of the Gates Cambridge Scholarship, where he will pursue his PhD at the University of Cambridge this coming fall. Several weeks ago, Jalen Walls was named UH's first ever Knight Hennessy Scholar. Jalen has been awarded a full ride to pursue a PhD in art history at Stanford and will benefit from being part of an inspiring and supportive cohort of Knight Hennessy Scholars while in Palo Alto. Phillips and Jalen's achievements are not just an indicator of how competitive UH students are for these major opportunities. They also speak to the effectiveness of the targeted programming developed by the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards. Both students participate in the Mellon Research Scholars Program led by Drs. Ricky Bettinger and Stuart Long. In addition, they both wrote and are in the process of writing senior honors theses. We have many of the pieces in place to continue supporting great students like Philip and Jalen, and I'm confident that we will see more Cougs replicating their success. There are two groups of students that I'm particularly excited to recognize this evening for their outstanding scholarly achievements. The first is the cohort of individuals who applied for or were named as recipients, alternates, honorable mentions, or finalists for major awards this past year. 
National fellowships and research experiences for undergraduates are as instrumental to the academic and professional development of our students as they are competitive. A major fellowship or REU can offer an unparalleled experiential learning opportunity. Merely applying provides a chance to grow as a scholar and a person. The often rigorous nature of the applications affords students the possibility to reflect on their time at UH, set goals and clarify their paths. While working with our students, especially this year as many of our conversations were limited to Zoom and phone calls, I've been impressed by their research projects, their volunteer efforts in the community, their ability to master a language and simply their desire to achieve more. I admire their work ethic, seeing how hard our students work in the classroom, in co-curriculars, and even to cover the costs of their education inspires me to do my job better. I look forward to supporting each student in their future endeavors. And for those that are graduating in the spring or already graduated in the fall, the door is always open. Congratulations to all our fellowship recipients, alternates, and honorable mentions on their achievements. The second group that I would like to acknowledge is the Houston Scholars. Supported by the Provost's Office and the Honors College, the Houston Scholars is a competitive program for high achieving freshmen and sophomores to receive mentorship and scholarship, funding to pursue research, internships, and other distinctive experiential learning opportunities. Through targeted programming, participants benefit from honing their academic and professional skills, developing connections to faculty, engaging in scholarly endeavors, and preparing to apply for nationally competitive scholarships and top graduate school programs. Houston scholars are encouraged to engage in self-reflection, critical thinking, passionate inquiry, and the application of theory and research to real world problems. During the 2020-21 academic year, 24 UH students were selected to form a new cohort of Houston scholars and study the subject of inequality in Houston. They attended guest lectures, participated in a research week in January, and took my course Mapping Success. At Undergraduate Research Day on April 1st, the Houston scholars presented various solutions to subjects related to inequality in front of faculty and staff alike. Congratulations to the Houston scholars for all of their great work this past year. I also want to feature the long-term success of the Houston Scholars Program by highlighting the plans for several members who are graduating this spring. To give a little perspective, three years ago, we decided to change the structure of Houston Scholars to make the programming more intensive, but also more rewarding. Twelve students served as our guinea pigs, and if I'm being honest, I think they turned out more than all right. Leonard Wang, or Dog Sled as he is known, will be attending medical school at UTMB. Christabella Durrett has been accepted to six graduate programs already, including Columbia, Northwestern, NYU, and Georgetown. Benjamin Diaz-Villa, the College of Engineering's outstanding senior for 2020-2021, has been accepted to engineering programs at MIT, Michigan, UT Austin, and CU Boulder, among others. Vincent LaRoche, a newly minted NSF GRFP recipient, informed me recently that he has accepted a full ride to pursue a PhD in mechanical engineering at Cal Berkeley. While this is merely a snapshot of the graduating cohort, I'm very proud of these students and all that they have achieved. There are a number of faculty and staff who have made much of the previously mentioned student success possible. First and foremost, Provost Paul Myrick Short's support for vital programs including Houston Scholars, the Provost Undergraduate Research Scholarship, the Houston Early Research Experience, and the Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship have made it possible to develop many of our applicants and enrich the overall quality of their college experience with meaningful co-curricular programming. We could not have achieved so much without your commitment and desire to see Houston students pursue their dreams at the highest scholarly levels. I could not do this job without the collaborative efforts from colleagues across campus. The Bonner Leaders Service Learning Program, under the new leadership of Dr. Doug Irwing and Trinity Rainier, has been all in on national fellowships and major awards. This year alone, two Bonners received the DAD RISE Scholarship, two more earned the National Science Foundation's Graduate Research Fellowship, and a handful more are semifinalists currently waiting on Fulbright notifications. And as you will later hear, half of the outstanding first year students are Bonners. Speaking to the Bonners is always meaningful, and I think that the university can be optimistic about the new direction that the organization is taking. The entire Learning Abroad office, but especially Maggie Mahoney, has been an exceptional partner who collaborates with the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards to emphasize the importance of international experiential learning opportunities. A significant number of our Fulbright applicants participated in Learning Abroad sponsored programs of a semester or longer. 
This is an obvious pipeline for future Fulbrighters, and I've been grateful for the opportunity to speak at pre-departure orientations and global guidance meetings with Maggie. I'm also excited to say that we have forged a new partnership with the Writing Center to support students applying for fellowships, including the Boren Awards and the Fulbright U.S. Student Program. We piloted this initiative in December with the leadership of Mark Sir Savage, and I think that it will allow us to support more UH students moving forward. Martha Hayes, Julia Brown, and Brenda Cruz Wolf have written and published numerous articles and videos about our students' accomplishments that reach the larger campus community and beyond. Martha and Julia also developed marketing materials for awards such as Fulbright, NSF, GRFP, and CLS that enable me to create effective awareness and recruit potential applicants. They are also responsible for the tremendous virtual program included with this year's event. Their work is always top notch, and without their efforts, my message would get lost at a campus of 46,000 students. I want to thank all of the faculty and staff who have supported fellowship applicants by encouraging them to apply, reviewing materials, or inviting me to speak in their classrooms about the value of applying for fellowships. For the latter, I would especially like to thank Mark Hankey, Rita Saria, Debbie Harwell, Terry Hallmark, Richard Armstrong, David Rainbow, Ricky Garner, and anyone else whom I'm unintentionally omitting. Seeing the actual person helps my message to resonate more when creating awareness for fellowship opportunities. I am fortunate to have an incredible set of colleagues in the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards who fully understand the value of co-curricular programming. Stuart Long, Brittany McLeod, Ricky Bettinger, and Paulina Escara provide constant time, input, and encouragement in everything that the office does to both identify and assist applicants for national fellowships and major awards. They are also really good at designing high-impact programming for undergraduate students. Brittany successfully transitioned Undergraduate Research Day to a virtual format last fall. There were 262 posters submitted by 280 presenters, nearly 3,700 visits by roughly 2,200 unique visitors, and over 1,000 comments on posters. That is how you put on an Undergraduate Research Day. She has also led the development of the Action Research and Communities Program, or ARC, supported by a site grant that provides undergraduate students the opportunity to combine applied research with service learning. Ricky Stewart and Paulina have not only been producing Gates Cambridge and Knight Hennessy Scholars, but they successfully renewed UH's $500,000 Mellon grant that will continue to benefit scores of students doing humanities research in the coming years. The programming in the Mellon program has helped UH students receive admission to graduate schools at elite universities such as Duke, Northwestern, Columbia, and Stanford, and the acceptances keep pouring in. Lastly, I want to recognize Nimra Zubair, who has worked tirelessly in our office as a graduate assistant. She is our social media guru, who has been instrumental in reaching new audiences through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, a talent that I would not be able to replicate in the slightest form. Nimra is a critical language scholarship alum who applied her experience and expertise to advise students about this award last fall. As I was coming off another challenging Fulbright campaign, her expertise was a big reason why nine UH students earned CLS, which is nearly twice our previous institutional record of five. Nimra's work ethic combined with her approachable personality make her a dynamic addition to our team and a wonderful colleague. Tonight, though, I want to conclude my remarks by taking the time to continue a tradition for national fellowships and major awards that we started three years ago by honoring two individuals who have particularly distinguished themselves. The Outstanding Fellowship Mentor Award goes to a faculty or staff member who best exemplifies a commitment to supporting ARMA's work with major award applicants and creating awareness for fellowship opportunities. We have previously recognized Dr. Richard Armstrong, Professor Michael Ferris, and Dr. David Rainbow. This year's recipient has been a force in her college recruiting students to apply for major awards. She created a new process to identify promising students in class and has contacted faculty throughout her college to gather information about potential fellowship candidates. She's invited me to speak at college-wide meetings. Furthermore, she serves as a Fulbright National Selection Committee member for specialty programs to the UK, and she participated in our Marshall Scholarship mock interviews last fall. It is without reservation that I can say that the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards looks forward to working with her more in the future. The 2021 Outstanding Fellowship Mentor Award goes to Sally Connolly. The Outstanding Fellowships Applicant Award goes to a student or recent alum who has committed to the process of applying for major awards and competitive opportunities. 
More specifically, this recognition is available to a student who has served as an ambassador for the major awards initiative at UH and has demonstrated academic achievement and growth from the process of applying for national fellowships. At six foot seven, this year's recipient literally sticks out from the crowd. Last year, he applied for and received the Critical Language Scholarship for Arabic and earned the same honor this year. Arabic is the most competitive language for the Critical Language Scholarship, so his success is a remarkable accomplishment. This past year, he applied for the Thomas R. Pickering and Charles B. Rangel Fellowships. He's also currently a semifinalist for the Fulbright English Teaching Assistantship to Turkey. Honestly, if they don't take him, I don't know who they could possibly accept. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Fellowship Applicant Award goes to Hamed Khan. I would now like to introduce three students, Nimra Zubair, Brian Vu, and Johnny Zapata, who will speak about where they are now and how their experiences applying for national fellowships got them there. Hi everyone, my name is Nimra Zubair and I am a graduate student at the University of Houston, currently pursuing a master's in public administration. My name is Johnny Zapata and I graduated from the University of Houston in 2019. Hey there, Cougs. I'm Brian Vu, and I was part of the graduating class of 2020. I also work as the graduate advisor at the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards, where I help connect students to various research opportunities, as well as assist them through the application process. I also manage the social media platforms for the office. Currently, I'm a grad student studying international affairs at the Bushkawa Texas A&M University as a Thomas R. Pickering Fellow. I was a physics major who went on to research medical imaging at the University of Pennsylvania's bioengineering PhD program. Right now, I'm part of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Interfaces program. This program selects a few bioengineering PhD students in each cohort to spend their first three semesters taking medical school courses at the Perlman School of Medicine. The program was designed to train individuals to interface between the engineers that design medical technologies and the doctors who use those tools in the clinic. It's a pretty neat program. Applying for major awards and national fellowships has helped me grow as a person and as a writer. I worked with many different members of the ORMA team who provided me the space to reflect on my professional and personal goals, which ultimately shaped my career trajectory. I also noticed that my writing was getting better with every single draft, and as a grad student, that's a skill I use constantly. One of the things that I got out of applying for national fellowships and major awards was improved writing skills. Applying to things such as Fulbright, CLS, Wrangle Pickering, that requires writing draft after draft after draft and meeting with advisors like Dr. Rader to help polish those drafts. And so I found that through that experience, my writing abilities were improving and this positively impacted my grades as I did better in writing assignments in class. It helped when it was time to apply for grad school as I knew how to write a competitive application. Lastly, I know that as a future Foreign Service officer, those writing abilities will come in handy as writing is an essential part of the job. While I was at U of H, I applied for and received the Barry Goldwater Scholarship and the National Science Foundation's Graduate Research Fellowship. I knew early on that I wanted to do research and eventually get a PhD. These awards reflected my eagerness to become a top scientist and academic contributor. Now, I'm working on cutting edge medical research. My advice to future applicants is to learn to fall in love with rejection and failure. Even though that rejection letter will sting the first time you receive it, it will lead to a better outcome. Trust the process, especially the hard parts of it. And if you can, find a mentor, someone who's living the life that you one day hope to live. The guidance that they will provide you will be invaluable. Don't be afraid to go abroad. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And definitely read your emails and utilize all your resources at the University of Houston. Um, I found that there's an entire community of people at the University of Houston, um, professors, advisors, mentors who are willing to take their time to help you and to see you succeed and take advantage of that. Best of luck. I know you enjoy your experience at the University of Houston. I know I did. Um, and go Cougs. If you're thinking about getting involved in research and applying for fellowships, start early. Think about your life outside of coursework and in terms of projects. 
Always know what you're currently working on and be able to justify to yourself and to others why the thing you're working on is important and of societal value. Then, go to Dr. Rader and show him what you've done, and he'll work closely with you during the application process so that you can get a major award that recognizes the cool stuff you've accomplished. Thank you, Nimra, Brian, and Johnny. It's great to hear about your wonderful experiences and your success. Now it is my pleasure to introduce 14 students who arrived on campus last fall and are already engaged, participating, and making contributions. Faculty and program directors were contacted and wrote insightful letters of support for dozens of outstanding students. From these nominations, 14 winners were selected by a faculty staff committee. These students represent the culture of excellence that is flourishing at the University of Houston. And we look for them and their peers to represent us as they compete for national scholarships and major awards in the coming months and years. First, Brian Armbruster. Brian is from Katy, Texas, and was named to the Natural Sciences and Mathematics Dean's List for the fall semester. He is one of our most involved first-year students and has already logged more than 100 hours as a first-year Bonner leader. As a mentor on the food and security team, he has begun to lead meetings, facilitate fellow student learning, and coordinate project logistics with his fellow executive team leaders and community partners. As an example, with his co-leaders, he facilitated the beginning of a new partnership with Yates High School, our closest third ward neighbor. Brian is a Hispanic scholarship scholar and is majoring in biochemistry, mathematics, and chemistry. Brianna Azad. Brianna is from Houston and is a tier one scholar. She is, according to Dr. Hayan Sharara, her nominator, a fearless thinker. He says, Brianna's questions and commentary in our human situation discussion sections were probing and often spurred new ideas and insights for the students and the instructor alike. Brianna's essays were, quote, ambitious and stretched her as a thinker and writer, making her work not only original, but a delight to read. Brianna holds a William Randolph Hearst Leadership Scholarship from the Honors College and is pursuing a dual degree in psychology and Spanish with a minor in biology. Zasha Bulak. Zasha is from Warsaw, Poland, and is also a tier one scholar. She was nominated by Professor Mike Barnes, who describes her as, quote, a straight up marvel, one of those bright stars that shoots across a teacher's path only rarely, even in a long career. Her contributions to human sit discussion all year long in every single class, week in and week out, have been unfailingly sharp and insightful. She makes brilliance look routine, Professor Barnes says, but never dull. She's a careful, sensitive reader and a subtle, gifted writer, and she possesses a sleek, first-class mind. Her eagerness and enthusiasm for books and ideas is contagious. She's also unfailingly supportive and encouraging of her fellow students. You simply could not ask for a better student, and I count myself very lucky indeed to have had her in my class these past two semesters. Zasha is majoring in economics and minoring in French and energy and sustainability. McKenna Campsey. McKenna is from San Antonio and was nominated by Fritz Clayton and Marsha Cole, who say that McKenna's impact on UH engineering began even before her first day of class and hasn't stopped. The summer before the, her freshman fall, McKenna was recruited to liaison with incoming freshmen preparing for orientation. McKenna joined a cohort of sophomore and junior students where she exhibited a level of maturity that matched her older peers. McKenna also excels academically, and her academic work, consistent with her maturity, is at a level above her freshman classmates. 
Even with her academic success, McKenna remains modest and is an incredible peer. She immediately integrated into UH and the Honors College where she prioritizes giving back to the community. She is an honors advocate for the Cullen College of Engineering and this summer will be the co-lead counselor for the grade camp. Her nominators say that, quote, when considering factors such as intellect, independence, maturity, motivation, personality, and ability to complete tasks timely and correctly, McKenna is among the best that we have ever encountered. McKenna is a mechanical engineering major and a Terry Foundation scholar. An Den. An is from Saigon, Vietnam and has an Academic Excellence Scholarship from the University of Houston. According to her nominators, she, quote, radiates positivity. Dr. Marcia Cole writes that she has, quote, repeatedly seen Ann go out of her way to be a good peer to fellow classmates. Whether it is leading a helping hand or explaining a difficult concept that she has already mastered, Ann eagerly engages with everyone, no matter what. Ann's ability to see beyond her own success extends to her interests outside of the classroom. She is actively involved as a member of the Society for Women Engineers, is a Promise Scholar, and a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers. Ann is also a member of the Bonner Leaders Program, and Dr. Doug Irwing, the director of the program, affirms that Ann has a warm and effusive personality that, quote, instantly puts others at ease. As a Bonner, she has given over 125 hours as a food insecurity volunteer, served as a marketing and communications intern, and led disaster food distribution events with community partners such as the Houston Food Bank. On holds a Ted L. Estes scholarship from the Honors College and is majoring in civil engineering with concentrations in mathematics and mechanical engineering. Sarah Golick. Sarah is a Tier 1 scholar from Dearborn, Michigan, and was nominated by Professor Tamler Summers in the Philosophy Department, who calls her contributions to his Human Situation Discussion section, quote, pure gold. He writes that, quote, Sarah has a way of rescuing the class when it gets stuck or frustrated with something in a particular text. In her quiet and unassuming way, Sarah offers not just an insight, but a new and rich direction for discussion. She shines in her weekly assignments, too. Her major essay was on the question of Helen's mixed identity in the Iliad. Throughout the epic, Helen seems torn between her Greek and Trojan associations. Sarah argues that despite her inner conflict, Helen's dominant identity remains Greek, and she supported her claim with a sophisticated and thorough examination of Helen's interactions with Priam, Aphrodite, Hector, and Paris. Sarah is majoring in psychology and minoring in classical studies. Amber Joswick Amber is from Houston and is the recipient of a Roy and Lily Cullen Student Success Scholarship. Her nominators describe her as passionate, tireless, and the embodiment of dedication and perseverance. Amber is a registered FAA pilot and has joined the University of Houston Drone Pilots League. She is also active in the Bonner Leadership Program, where she served as a mentor on the food insecurity team and this summer, she will co-lead the grade camp for middle and high school girls who are interested in engineering. Amber was selected to be a member of the 2020-2021 Houston Scholar Cohort and will present on the topic Housing Inequality, her area of research. I had the pleasure of getting to know Amber as a member of the Human Situation Text Group Lecturer Award Committee where her acumen and maturity were very much in evidence. Amber is the recipient of an Academic Excellence Scholarship and is majoring in Mechanical Engineering and minoring in American Sign Language. Gabrielle Lee. Gabrielle is from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and is a National Merit Scholar. 
Gabby was nominated by Professors Clayton and Cole in engineering and Professor Ricky Garner, director of the UH Speech and Debate Program in the Honors College. Professor Garner says that Gabby was a key member of the policy debate team and a leader in human situation discussions. Professor Cole was effusive in her praise of Gabby's work ethic. Every day, every class, Gabby comes ready to learn. As a student in both my Engineering 1100 and 1331 classes, Gabby stands out as the student that I can count on to ask insightful questions and who challenges me to think more deeply about the course content. In fact, I don't think a single class passes where Gabby does not have a, quote, couldn't we solve the problem this way moment. I always look forward to these contributions, which spark class-wide discussions and peer-to-peer -peer engagement. It should come as no surprise that Gabby is consistently a top performer on assignments, projects, and exams due to the critical thinking skills that are exhibited on a daily basis. Professor Cole goes on to describe Gabby's co-curricular activities. Outreach and equity, she writes, are key pillars in how Gabby spends time. The summer prior to joining UH, Gabby was a teaching assistant for the Victory Briefs Institute, an intensive speech and debate experience. At UH, Gabby is a critical part of our grade camp student committee that is currently pivoting the annual summer outreach camp for high school girls to an asynchronous virtual experience. Gabby is leading the team on all aspects related to video production. Gabby is majoring in biomedical engineering with an eventual goal of entering the medical field. Daniel Lim. Daniel is from Teaneck, New Jersey and is a recipient of the Ted L. Estes Scholarship from the Honors College. Professor Jesse Rainbow, his nominator, first met Daniel during a virtual Meet Your Professor event last summer. My first impression, Dr. Rainbow says, is that Daniel was going to be a force to be reckoned with. And, he adds, I was not disappointed. Daniel's work in the human situation class was careful, serious, deeply thoughtful, and altogether excellent. Daniel is majoring in biochemistry and minoring in medicine and society. Daniel Madog. Daniel is from Houston and is the recipient of an academic excellence scholarship from the university. He has excelled in his service leadership work with a Bonner program as well as academically. He has taken the lead with the Austin High School Test Preparation Program and taught topics ranging from systems of equations and data analysis to verb conjugation and writing language. He is the only freshman serving on the executive team of Austin Test Prep. His work includes data gathering and analysis and doing strategic presentations, including a presentation on mentor expectations and teaching strategies that he gave to Breakthrough Houston, a community partner of the Honors College. Daniel is a recipient of a Great Conversation Scholarship and is majoring in Biomedical Sciences with a minor in Medicine and Society. Nathan Mitchell. Nathan is from Louisville, Kentucky and is distinguishing himself in all of his courses, especially Introduction to Engineering a course incorporating individual and group work on real-world design problems. Nathan gives of his time as a tutor in mathematics for students in grades 7 through 12, and according to his nominators, Fritz Clayton and Marsha Cole, he is a stellar representative of the university and of the Honors College. Quote, without supervision or direction, Nathan always gets things done correctly and always with a smile." Unquote. I personally got to know Nathan from his service on the Human Situation Text Group Lecture Award Committee, where he served with insight and intelligence and always showed respect for others. Nathan is carrying a perfect 4.0 GPA and is majoring in mechanical engineering. Audrey Wynn. Audrey is from Rochester, Minnesota, 
and is the recipient of a Houston Pre-Medical Academy scholarship. Professor Sharara, her nominator, says that, quote, she came to every human situation class with thoughtful questions and original insights. She was always ready to challenge ideas and her essays exhibited the same courageous spirit of inquiry. Her essays, arguments, and sentences, Professor Sharara says, were both carefully organized and beautifully constructed. Audrey is carrying a perfect 4.0 GPA and is majoring in biomedical sciences and minoring in medicine and society. Dia Patel. Dia is from Houston and the recipient of an Academic Excellence Scholarship. She made the Dean's Distinguished Scholars list of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. She has been identified as an emerging leader in the Bonner Program and was appointed Head of Internal Communications for the Bonner Impact Partnership with KIPP Schools. Dr. Irwin says that, quote, Dia delved fully into the service learning experience. She committed herself to her community and her own personal and professional growth. Dia is among the most communicative, reliable, punctual, and enthusiastic students I have ever known. Dia is majoring in biochemistry and minoring in medicine and society and chemistry. Our final outstanding first year student is Samia Zuman. Samia is from Newark, New Jersey and is the recipient of a Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Scholarship and an Academic Excellence Scholarship. In the fall, she made the Dean's List in both Bauer and the Honors College. She was part of the team that won first place in the Bauer Honors Shark Tank Business Plan Competition and prepared a presentation for Undergraduate Research Day with her impact teammates. Her nominator, Dr. Doug Irwin, says that Samia, quote, elevates the level of discourse in any conversation that she is in by asking perceptive questions, asking for and presenting data and compelling arguments, listening carefully, and being respectful of others' opinions. She has been a very important part of the freshman Bonner class and has earned the respect of her peers. Samia is the recipient of an Honors College scholarship and is majoring in Management Information Systems and minoring in Marketing. Congratulations to each and every one of you on a great first year. Well, this concludes the Undergraduate Scholars and Major Awards recognition event. We hope that you have enjoyed the evening and been inspired by the University of Houston's culture of excellence and achievement. Be sure to be in touch with Dr. Ben Rader, Dr. Brittany McLeod, and Dr. Ricky Bettinger in the Office of Undergraduate Research and Major Awards for more information about the outstanding research opportunities available through the Honors College. Good night.